easily, easily label any other person standing here as a thug if we did not voice our voices. They wanted us to fight. They wanted us to cause trouble, but we did it the right way. And this is what I want to share to every young person here. This is the power of your voice. They want you, they don't want you to think. When we think we're a lot more powerful than when we just act with brute force. And this is what we've been able to do as young people. Unfortunately, and I'm not just going to talk about positive, unfortunately young people's voices haven't been heard in our community for a long time. And this is the opportunity we have now. So for every young person here, this could have easily been you, and that's probably one of the reasons why you're here. It could have easily been your brother or your sister. That's one of the reasons why you're here. So the reason we're here is the reason we should continue to fight. Let, let's not just make this something that we just posted about and it was a good thing. We all fought, we showed that we love one another. No, we have to take it further. It can't stop here. There's more work that we all need to do. And why I would say that is, right? A couple, when the Black Lives Matter thing happened, I literally said it, unfortunately, we made noise in the wrong places. The changes weren't made in the streets. The changes don't get made in the streets. Laws are not changed in the streets. This is where we protest, in front of these type of buildings, in front of the government, and that's where we make the change. If you don't fight, this will be at your doorstep one day. If as young people, and I'm not only addressing the older generation, but the young people, if we don't fight this now, when you have kids later on down the line, 10, 15 years down the line, this could come to your door. We can't let that happen. We have to open up and speak. And I want young people to challenge everybody up here that has spoken, everybody that has said they're going to come forward and do an initiative and do things for us, right? They want to hear what we have to say, so let's let them know what we have to say, what we want to improve, what we want to do different. But we have to fight and hold people accountable, including me, Hold every person here accountable to the things that we're saying. New initiatives. And when it comes out, please take part. When it comes to voting, get familiar with the situations that are going on. And the most important message I want to leave our young people with, because we all grow up in this country and we know as young people. Unfortunately, the effects of racism affect us so much that we hate one another. Yeah. Today we're fighting because somebody got killed because of the color of their skin and it could have been us. I want you to understand, the day you ever lift your hand to strike another person who looks like you, you're committing the same crime that they did to George. That is exactly what we are doing the day we do that. Today, today we all have pain. Today we all feel that pain. We've been feeling it when we're seeing it in the media. Don't ever lift your hand to another black person to inflict the same pain that we're feeling today. Never. Today we fight, and this is in honor of George. May God bless us all because he sparked this revolution for us. Let's never let this happen again, and let's continue to fight and make change. And the Irish people that are fighting with us, there are Irish people who feel the same pain we do. I can promise you that. And